Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Now you get some sleep. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again! I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. 
Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. Yeah, we played our part in all of this. told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra-world. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. I think I need some time to, to figure it out. Figure out what I really want. And what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us. And I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. And I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. We have something in common. We both care about you. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, OK? <laughs> this way, Jody. Decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Well, just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision.
right, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Come in. Jody. Oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Nathan? Nathan, they're dead. They're in the info world now. You cannot make them come back. I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. I haven't heard their voices for 15 years. 
Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You. I'm begging you. Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Nathan, <laughs> you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You, you're lying. Helen did say that you did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always be grateful for your help. but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm 
I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is gonna turn out fine. You're too weak, Aiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Cole here. Hello? Hello? You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Right. Now where? This way. Over there. Okay, I get it. Something moved. You 
You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Now where? Here! Jody's here? Jody! Get out! Oh. Oh. Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Grass? 
But the last thing the info world needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. This is not a hospital. Please exit the building immediately. I repeat, exit the building immediately. Come on. Come on. It's not working. I can't stop the condenser or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. Hurry! We're out of time! What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self destruct. It might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. You're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here with the military clean up their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Right? I just figured I'd die a hero. This is not a drill. Please exit the building immediately. I repeat, exit the building immediately. The Black Sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or our little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Jody, don't get too close to that. Without me. No way. I'm not 
leaving you here. Time. The Black Sun, Jody. Or nobody will make it. He's right. Come on, Jody. this. so much you don't love them or you never would have done this to them I'm gonna destroy the condenser before it's too late I missed you. I missed you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Jody. 
found what he was looking for. Come on. Son, just take this oh, and no, do it. Oh no, those things are gonna slaughter you! Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. Now get out of here before I change my mind. inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Jody. It's too late.
We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Jody, we made it. Aiden?
Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved Brian. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone.
We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone, to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Next time, I'll kill everyone. I was so afraid I lost. There's no telling what we'll find them. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? We're not coming back. Ah! I'm not gonna get those jackets! Saturday!